Okay, now we're in this part of the setup now. Um. Yeah. I actually recorded the last part yesterday because um. I had to turn. I had to um go. To a party yesterday. And as you can tell by my voice, I'm still sick. Hmm. Anyway, this setup process is now um, changed. Anyway. I just don't like that I'm not feeling very well. Starting to speed up now. At the start of September of last year, I also got sick. Then. What did I have to get so sick? Guy, I'm gonna um recapture the game while setups when setups um nearly finished. Okay, setups rebooted now. Now we're at the boot screen. The boot screen's still the same as the last build. Whistler build two two seven six.
So once again, we got out to box experience. Begin. I know how to use the computer, just doing this so, so I can, you can look at it, in case you haven't done it before. Let's see what's changed on the desk. Wait. What? Oh no. It's not tilted on the start button anymore. I really like that feature now that just just revert it back. It was a step forward, now they've gone a step back. Now, so these aren't the. Also, oh, these have been reverted to the original as well. What I forgot to say in the last build is that um we got this background but I'm gonna stick with this one for the moment because you can't see the build tag. Anyway the icons are gone. Don't worry, I'll put them back. There we go. Internet Explorer icon isn't there. I'll go get a shortcut of it and then put it on the desktop.
Ah, there we go. Find bug report. Yes. Services. Oh, this is new. We got Windows Movie Maker now. Now I'm at Media Player Mint, and we've also got Movie Maker. Wait. Wait a minute. They just took this from Windows Me. I don't think it changes. Oh, not again. Some weird music playing. This is the only skier. Activate by now. Well, that's all of um, the effects. Let's go get a um, picture. Let's go get um, some more paper. Okay, for the rest of this series, um, I'm going to be changing using the backgrounds for each build. Can't seem to get any. Let's go file here. 
your car. Um, I'm gonna be di okay. I'm gonna go down loads of stuff and see if they are going to um work with this build. There's only a Microsoft Office 2013. I want to find one that's compatible with Wisslop, which um, I think um, Microsoft Office 2000. Are you looking for? No, 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 not Windows. Okay, let's try it here. Bravo, soft. This part has changed as well. Now as what has changed in a build between this one and the RTM version of Windows XP, um, it is in this build you have to you have to click it to access this well in Windows XP it will open that menu as soon as you hover over it it will be changed to the lower build some minor changes to the start menu Try something. Nope, it doesn't work.
go. The question is, will Microsoft Office 2000 work on a um, very early build of um, Windows XP like this? You know, Microsoft Office 2000. It's not compatible with with a very urgent early version of Windows XP. Well, we could try downloading um, some um, more files. We're going to try first. We're going to try Alpha first. Download. Um, yeah. Yeah. We're nearly finished. Almost finished. Nope, can't find what I'm looking for.
Now, working on my own Windows operating system. Um, I'll, I'll start doing that operating system. Working on it after um, I reach the RTM build of Windows XP. Because I'm going to use the code of Windows XP to build my operating system. Anyway, it's an operating system that um, Mario fans will enjoy. Too buggy. And I'm, I'm going to be right back. Okay. That's it for this build. Let's upgrade to the next one. Okay. Okay, we are up to this part now. The setup's the same, along with um, Windows logo over there, and there are the silver bars. Well, I'm going to let it progress. I'll pause the video. Okay, we're at the boot screen again. Same as the last build I look at er earlier in the video. Yep, setup's the same. I'm going to skip through the setup. Now, once again, I'm expecting an out of box experience. And, yes, we do have one. Oh, my mouth. 
the mouse. It's frozen. Here is the desktop. Which in fact I can't move with my mouse. Unfortunately. my mouse but it won't move I have to use my keyboard to move I'm gonna be back in a minute Okay, we here's an, another day of recording this, and I'm still sick. You might be wondering, you just installed build 2287, why are you upgrading again? I'll tell you why. Because build 2287, that build... I couldn't move the mouse in it. So um so I'm upgrading again. Okay. I've just upgraded to another build build two two nine six. Okay. This build of um Whistler is very popular. This build's pretty stable, it's it's also fast as well. If you plan on using Microsoft Codename Whistler in a um, real odd brain system for some time, build two nine I mean build two two nine six is your build. Hang on a minute. I'm going to pause the video and then recapture it. Now, the color def is too low. Can't even see that properly. This doesn't look good. In fact, I'm going to pause the video again and then recapture it. Okay. Yep, Wimba. I'm going to just go switch back. I don't really like these icons for the Internet Explorer and the email. They look a bit ugly. Hang 
No, what's this? Animate start menu. I don't remember seeing an object option for that in Windows XP. I don't think it is in it. Now what has been added in this build is um, when you go to log off you can now switch users now and you can now change your picture currently we've only got these now let's go to my documents oh that picture I hate it Well, that's about it. This great game is signed for sign off. Have a good day.